guys, real quick before this video starts, if this trick shot is good, please leave a like on the video. I really appreciate it. If you guys don't think it's good, just like the video anyways. Anyways, we're just gonna roll right into the trick shot. Boom. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right. I'm good, dude. So swift. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look, look. Yep. Oh, let's go. Oh. So we got the FFAR phase camo on the new map Outlaw. I don't think Call of Duty gets any better than this, guys. So I am like lagging or something. I feel like I have some sort of a frame rate lag right now. All right, dude. I'm out of here, I'm lagging or something. So guys, I'm actually extremely disappointed because you guys saw in that video, I actually hit a really cool trick shot, or at least I thought it was a cool trick shot, on Nade Shot, and the problem with it is that I couldn't upload the video because for whatever reason, I wasn't recording his audio. So like, how am I gonna upload a 1v1 gameplay without having any of his audio in the game? Like, it wouldn't make sense for me to do that, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I could upload the entire thing. It's like 20 minutes long, it was really freaking intense. But if I did that, like, you guys would be so bored. I'd just be sitting there talking to myself the whole time. Is it just me, or does this look like it's lagging? Like, what was that? That lag was insane. Bro, is this lagging, or is it just me? Like, I don't know why. I just reset my app, but I feel like the map, like, every time I'm just turning, it's just lagging. Like, I, I close the app and everything, but it still seems like it's doing it. I honestly can't get over how sick this camo looks. Like, the phase camo on the MP40, or whatever this gun... It's the HD40 in this game. It was the MP40. It is so freaking sick. And I'm not even trying to say that to like make you guys buy it or something. I just freaking like this thing. Like it looks sick and I'm still skipping everywhere. I want to tell you guys a story. The other day I had a dream and I was dreaming about actually like my real life. Like it's weird. I get all these dreams all the time. And so in this dream, I was uh I, I was trying to hit up Nate Shot. So so if you guys don't know, what happened was after I didn't upload the video, like I was supposed to upload the 1v1 two days ago with Nate Shot. After I didn't upload it, uh, I hit up Nate Shot and I said, yo, my audio is messed up on my file. Is there a way we could just like redo the 1v1 or something? He's like, yeah, bro, that seems like a problem. Don't worry about it. I got you, man. I'm going to go get some food. I'm running down the street and I'll hit you with the text when I get back. He never hit me with the text when he got back. And so, uh, in the dream, I, I hit Nate Shot back up and I saw him in person for whatever reason. I don't know where I saw him, but... I met him in person and I went up to him and I was like completely just like, you know, just being a dick to him, okay? Like, I was like, dude, how can you tell me you're gonna hit me back up and then never hit me up? Like, that's so wrong, dude. How are you gonna say you're gonna do something and not go back on your word? Like, if you're gonna tell me that you're gonna hit me up after food and make this video with me, then then let me know because I wanna upload this video. It's a banger, you know? Like, I was just really mad at the guy and I was just freaking out on him. So then after that happened, Nate Shot was just really pissed off at me. You know, I was kind of being a dick to him and then I asked like a bunch of people in faces, like, guys, was I being a little bit too harsh on Nate Shot? They're like, dude, you're being a complete asshole to him. So, I don't know. Like, that's what happened in my dream. And I found it really weird because if you guys don't know, Nate Shot and I used to have beef, like, a while ago. For about a lo the longest time, we actually had beef. And about a year ago, we just squashed it. Everything was cool. Like, we're growing up now. I'm 22. I think he's 24. So, like, we just realized that, you know, all the stuff we are arguing about was just petty stuff. And it was just, like, egos and just dumb things back in the day when we were, like, 17, 18 years old. So now we're cool. So it just felt so weird because when I woke up after this dream, it really felt like I had beef with him. And then I looked at my text messages and I realized I just never texted him back. He said, okay, I'll hit you up after I get home. And then I said, okay, thanks. And that was it. So, like, we're cool. Everything's good. But it just felt so weird because for the longest time... We just weren't on the same terms. Like, we didn't really like each other. And, and then when I woke up, it just felt like that happened all over again. And then I realized we're cool. And it, it just felt really weird to me. But I did talk to him, and we're probably going to be doing another 1v1. We actually had, like, a best of three scheduled. And he beat me in the first one. I beat him in the second one. That's why I hit the trick shot. And we want to make, like, a third 1v1 to, like, settle it all. And I'm going to Las Vegas soon. So I think I'll just upload that when I'm away in Vegas. I'm actually going to be at the Olympia in Las Vegas. So if you guys want to do, like, some sort of a meetup, maybe I'll do it, for, like, at the Olympia. I can give you guys more details. But if you guys know the area if you know the event it's like one of the biggest bodybuilding events ever like I, i'm pretty sure that's what it is the olympia is a huge event and it's going to be in las vegas g fuel is actually sending me there i'm going to be running a really big g fuel call with them too so don't buy g fuel yet like wait another week because i'm going to be doing a huge sale next weekend with them and they're like completely hooking me up like they got me a first class flight they got me like this really luxurious suite like i'm going to be having some really dope vlogs when i'm there i can't wait to share it with you guys it's going to be so cool i'm doing collabs with steve cook he's one of the biggest names in the fitness industry i'm doing another collab with Bradley Martin. I'm doing a collab with Rice Gum. So I'm going to be doing a lot of really fun stuff on my YouTube channel coming up soon. I just feel like recently all I've been doing is just things with my new apartment. And, and guys, 
when you move out, you're gonna figure it out really quick. It is so much work. Like, I'm still not done, and I've been working on this place for about a month now. Like, it literally takes up all your time, but I'm telling you, like, Moving out and living on your own is so freaking cool. It's amazing. Like, you have so much privacy. For example, I am literally not wearing pants right now because I can, because it's my home and I live here. Like, it's literally so freaking cool. I'm going off, by the way. God damn, dude. This is sick. And we got the HG40 with the face camo. Oh my god, this game is so much fun, dude. I wish I could still be playing this game competitively. I wish I was able to go to Chance and, and at least compete and play. But you know what? My boy Apathy won it. And Apathy is like one of my best friends and you know, he won it on Envy, they broke the curse. I, I wanted FaZe to win the event really bad, but I know Apathy deserved this more than anybody and I'm so happy he won. Like, I literally felt like I won the event because I watched him win it. I know I spoke about it in one of my vlogs the other day, but if you guys don't know, like, Apathy and I go back to like day one. Like, when I decided to come back to competitive COD because Nate Shot like inspired me to, I came back with Apathy and I teamed with him for like two years straight. He was on phase with me right in the beginning. We won the first two championships for phase. You know, it was a really big deal. And he started struggling. My YouTube took off. I started doing YouTube more. He stayed with competitive COD, but he couldn't get on any good teams. Like he struggled for a long time. So to see him win the biggest Call of Duty tournament of the year, it made me so freaking happy inside. I don't know what it is, but I'm having just so much fun right now playing Call of Duty. Maybe it's because I'm playing the remastered maps. Like Standoff was honestly one of the best maps in Black Ops 2. And it just feels so freaking smooth. Like, oh my God, wait, watch this, watch this. He didn't even see me coming. I, I suck, dude. I'm so bad. I don't know, man. I'm just in a really good mood right now. I'm feeling great. I'm going to have some of my friends over to watch the Giants game coming up soon. I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. Football Sunday is back. I'm really excited about it. I also wanted to say, guys, really quick. I hope you guys remember everyone from 9-11. When I was in first grade, I went out of school early. I couldn't even comprehend the thought of what happened. But, you know, just looking back at it, it's just, you know, I just want to take a moment to just say for all the people that died, for all the people that sacrificed their lives to save more people, you know, they're always going to be remembered in my heart, and I hope you guys can take something along with that too. So uh, that's where I'm going to end the video today, guys. Please drop a thumbs up on the video. If you guys want to see another 1v1 with Nate Shot, let me know by commenting down below. Hope you guys all have a great day. It's been your boy Doug Sensamari, and I'm out, guys. Peace.